hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Connecting with Augusta County Schools. This is Eric Bond, Division Superintendent. We are very fortunate today to have a very special guest with us, Mrs. Jane Wright. Mrs. Wright is our Director of Elementary Education, and she's with us today to talk about an upcoming event that we're very excited about, titled Adventures at the Museum. So, Mrs. Wright, welcome to Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Thank you. It is great to be here. So, Mrs. Wright, uh, for our listeners who may not be familiar with Adventures at the Museum, could you give us an overview of the purpose of the evening? I'd love to. Adventures of the Museum is an opportunity for us to bring our community together to share resources that will support student learning. It also showcases valuable community resources, and it increases access to books for all of our elementary children. So what activities can our families expect to participate uh, at this event? When they arrive at the museum on April 18th, 19th, or 20th, we ask them to stop in at the welcome table, and they will receive a bag of goodies. They'll receive a map that will orient them to the museum, as well as on the back of that map, there's a scavenger hunt. So we ask the kids as they go through the museum site to look for those items that are pictured on the scavenger hunt, talk to the interpreters, and learn about that particular site. They'll also have an opportunity to go through a fire safety house, climb on a fire truck, look at an underground classroom, and meet many community resource organizations. Then they'll end the night with a pizza dinner and a chance to choose three books for their at-home libraries. So it's an evening full of lots of fun adventures for our students across the area. And I must say, as someone who's attended every year to this event, the kids are just super excited, as are the parents. Especially I witnessed the scavenger hunt is always a big hit, as well as obviously the pizza uh, at the end of the evening is always a big hit. So thank you and kudos to you and your staff and all the organizers that put this together. I know it is a, a daunting task to get everything organized and get all those activities planned, but you guys do such such a wonderful job uh, at doing that. So thank you for that. You mentioned earlier that this event is an opportunity to share resources that support student learning. Why is that an important component of this event? So our hope is that this event will be a bridge to talk with parents instead of talking to parents. We look forward to this setting that allows us to answer questions, share books with families, It's also important for us to let parents know that we need them as partners in their child's learning. So all of the resources that are shared in that welcome bag point to ways through links that we can support each other with the learning process through literacy and STEAM. So you kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but I want to come back to it a little bit. You mentioned that families are an essential part of a student school experience, but you also mentioned that the community as a whole is very important in this event, Ventures at the Museum, gives our school division an opportunity to collaborate with outside organizations. So what community organizations, again, you touched on this a little bit earlier, but what community organizations are involved in this event and what is their role in this event? We have 14 community organizations joining us this year, which is really exciting. I think the first year we started, we may have had two or three. Um, But this year, the fire department joins us again, and they're bringing that fire safety house, which is such an incredible resource for families to walk through and learn about what they can do in their own house to prevent fires. We also have the sheriff's department that will be joining us again, and they'll bring their canine unit. It's an opportunity for kids to see police officers in a way that is not threatening, but in a way that they truly are just members of our community. We also have Office on Youth, Parks and Rec, Infant Toddler Care, United Way, LifeWorks, and Love, Inc. that wants to share about job opportunities for parents. And then Underground Classroom is a classroom that was created by the Department of Agriculture that allows kids and families to just walk through this trailer, and it's an incredible replication of what lives underground. So it's another educational resource And then Augusta Health is going to join us this year, which we're excited about, as well as the Boys and Girls Club. 
lots of things to showcase to our families what's available in our area. We have such a supportive area between Stanton Augusta and Waynesboro and with that being said, what other collaborations make this event possible? Oh, the museum. You know, I've been connected to the museum since close to its existence. And we have a treasure right here in our community. And I think it's shocking each year when I travel around with families on this night, how many parents have never stepped foot on those grounds. And so it's it's a chance for us to show our families, this incredible, unique place that we have, and it's all for free. So we appreciate the museum partnering with us and opening their doors. We also have a partnership with Stanton City Schools, Waynesboro City Schools, and then Virginia School for the Deaf and Blind is going to join us. So we're very excited about that. So again, this special event, Adventures at the Museum, will be Wednesday, April 19th and Thursday, April 20th. Again, involves VSDB, Augusta County, Stanton City, and Waynesboro City Schools, which is very exciting. That's a lot to organize, and I know you need to have a lot of volunteers to help run this, which you have uh, done a, a wonderful job organizing. Give our listeners a sense, uh, over those two nights, how many students or how many families between those basically four entities, between the school divisions and VSTB, will come through the adventures at the museum? Last year, we had our largest numbers, and we had about 3,000 people. That was exciting. It's always so much fun to ride around on the golf carts with the families and just see their excitement and hear their stories and just see what it means to see all of this. Well, again, the partnership with the museum they've been a wonderful partner for us and I know they get excited about just getting people into the gate of the museum to see again what a jewel we do have here in the Shenandoah Valley it is a fantastic event and we certainly encourage all of our families to, uh, to participate in that Ms. Wright, before we let you go today, anything else you'd like to share with us about this uh, about this event? Yes, we need families. So please check out Augusta County's Facebook page. And on that page, you will see the flyer, which you also should have received in your children's report cards. But that flyer contains a QR code or a bit.ly that will link you to our registration form. So all you have to do is sign up and bring your family and have fun on the 19th and 20th for a free evening. Well, thank you again, Mrs. Wright. Thank you for all you do, uh, not only for Augusta County Public Schools, but thank you for your leadership with the Adventures of the Museum, not only benefiting our students in Augusta County Schools, but benefiting students all through the valley here. We greatly appreciate your efforts in that. So it means a lot to us that we appreciate, again, your leadership on that. So. Thank you again for tuning in to another edition of Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Thanks again to all of our listeners for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest episodes. Our episodes can always be found on Augusta County Schools' Facebook page and website.